All right, tonight we're gonna to be doing a food review on Aldi frozen foods. But first, um, I wanted to do like a little showing of the garden, you know, the garden flowers and vegetables. Got roses and zinnias in this bouquet. And um, part of the ocean of grapes. And these are sweet and delicious. Um, got some yellow, yellow squash, cucumbers, banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, and one overripe, one ripe jalapeno pepper. I bet that's going to be hot. Woo! Tomatoes, green okra. purple okra. That one's my favorite. And green beans. Anyway, I love cooking and eating with the garden harvest on the table. But yeah, I'm just, I'm really just kind of getting set up here to cook the, um, what's this? Yeah, our frozen food from Aldi. We're going to be doing an Aldi review and uh, let me get the pan to cook these in I'm gonna be bringing a lot of stuff over here tonight because well not a lot because it's not like a very big stuff to not a bunch of stuff to review okay so I'm gonna turn the um, the burner on low here which you know on a an electric stove it would be more like medium and the first thing that we're going to cook is these samosas it's like indian food anyway i've had these before and they're so delicious but i just want wanted y'all to see how to make them you know, like just get a little review on them. I'm trying to get my beautiful flowers up in here. Come over here. Oh, oh, those are beautiful. All right. Let me go get my. Yeah, you know, I hate it whenever I say the word my. Let me go get the stuff. To take these out of the pan, you know, the little spatula and the plate and napkin and all that good stuff. So these samosas, um, here's what they look like just out of the box. So I took these out of the box and I microwaved them for a couple, I don't know, maybe a minute, more like 30 or 45 seconds, you know, just to try to thaw out the middle because these are fully cooked and I just want to, <clears throat> I just want to crisp up the outside of these. For the review. I think I would have been a little bit more ready. <laughs> never, never ever. Okay, try try one of these delicious grapes. Or we're waiting on I'm waiting on the fire to heat up the pan. That one only had two seeds. They're big though. Now it 
actually had three. Okay, so I'll turn the heat up on this just to get the oil heated faster. Because these, these cook really quick. I'm just using vegetable oil here. I guess while we're waiting on the um, the fire to heat up, I'll go ahead and get the sauce that comes with this. I'll get get the sauce out and talk about that a little bit. Oh yeah, see here it says it comes with tamarind dipping sauce. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of tamarind, but it's not too bad, the sauce. Uh, I prefer not to eat the sauce with it, but whenever I cook these in the air fryer, they were so dry that they needed the sauce. These guys here. And since I cooked them in the air fryer and they were too dry for me, that's whenever I decided to try to cook them in the um, in the oil, in the vegetable oil instead. And they turned out way, way, a, a hundred times better. I'm just testing the oil here. It's almost ready. So anyway, here's what the little packet of tamarind sauce looks like. Okay, so our oil is ready. Go ahead and put these other two in here. Take our handy little antique spatula. If you ever go to a, um, a thrift store or flea market or something and you find little spatulas like this, these are perfect for frying. These are my favorite frying utensil. And I have a bunch of these. I just kind of got these like um, like slow frying you know they're not like super duper high temperature frying you know it's just kind of more like sizzling frying I've been watching some Aldi all these store food reviews and I tell you I really love the the frozen food reviews the most because whenever I go in there like all the frozen food looks so good and I want to know if it's good before I buy it right I don't think I'm the only one that wants to do that anyway see how quick these fry up Nice and crispy. Yeah, you kind of hear on that one how crispy it is. Okay. 
I'm gonna turn the heat down to low. Now that I know it's up to temperature, then I'm gonna bring over the next thing that we're gonna review. This one is the General So Chicken. And I did the same thing with these. I microwaved them, you know, just to kind of get that frozen middle thought out a little bit. And then I'm just putting these into the oil. And I assume that these are raw in the middle because it says to cook thoroughly. But anyway, it's this General So Chicken. I really don't know how to say that word. I know the two silent, but I don't know if it's so or sal. It doesn't matter. But like I was saying, these are the ones that they have at Walmart in the deli department, you know, like the fried food or hot food in the deli. And I like to get these, but they're usually like really old whenever I get them or they're just an empty pan. So I practically can never get these at Walmart, so I got these like to for a substitution of those. And these come with a lot of sauce. What kind of sauce is it? So pure white meat chicken in a zesty Asian style sauce. It tastes like um like general so sauce. These are cooking fast tonight. I wonder if these are cooled off enough to try yet. They look very, very hot. So I'm gonna squeeze on some of this um, tamarind sauce. Ow. Mmm. Not the sauce, but the samosas are delicious. The sauce is okay. I mean, that's not terrible. I don't love it, but if you air fry these, they really need the sauce. But deep frying them like this, they don't. They got potatoes in there and peas. Carrots, I think. Yum. They're so good. These are really close to being done. Now these little um, Indian samosas, they're a little bit spicy. So I would recommend that you have a drink ready. They're not like jalapeno pepper spicy. I'm not sure what kind of spices they have, but Oh my goodness, these are so good. I'm glad I got three boxes. This is the last of the first box, so I only have two boxes left. I need to go get more. 
Mm -mm -mm. The potatoes in there are lovely. They taste like they're just cooked. Okay, these are done. They're nice and golden brown. Have a better plate whenever you cook these, okay? This isn't working out right. Okay. That that uh, grate is no hotter than than the plate, <laughs> and I know that because I was just holding it. Okay, so now we're gonna take our Asian style sauce. General so sauce that comes with it and we're just gonna like squeeze it on here a little bit this is still kind of frozen but I don't I don't try to thaw this out or anything because it thaws out instantly with your body heat so I just leave it frozen Nice and lovely. Now, of course, if you like the sauce, put way more on there than what I did. I'm just not a big fan of the sauce. I mean, it's not bad, trust me. It's very, very edible. Okay, so I think these are gonna be a little bit too hot to try so far. So let's go back over here to these lovelies. I'm telling you, if you buy anything from Aldi store, Aldi, I think that Aldi is like a German, a German grocery store, and it's actually pronounced Aldi. So, you would want to get these, if anything. I'm going to go back and get more. A whole bunch more. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> they're so delicious and lovely and delicate, flavorful. I don't think my mom would like these because she doesn't like uh, spicy things, but it's not like overwhelmingly spicy, you know? It's just like a, a subtle spiciness. But this shell is so nice and crunchy. I don't know, y'all could probably hear me crunching on it. Mm, mm, mm. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being the worst, 10 being the best, I'm going to give these um, a 9.5. And, and you know the only reason I'm not giving them a 10 is because they're not big enough. Like the samosas I'm used to having are, are way bigger. Like way bigger like three times bigger than this and I really like the bigger ones because you can taste the filling better <clears throat> but you know these are these are really good very 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 good They're indescribably good. And they're veg vegetarian, too. I usually don't like anything vegetarian. Well, besides the raw vegetables. Mmm. <laughs> yum.
since they do, these have a hint of a spice, we gotta get our red solo cup and drink some lemonade with them. Oh yeah, that pairs very nicely. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna review these um, General So or General Salad Chicken, however you wanna say it. Mm-hmm, I'm pretty good. This sauce is a lot better than the tamarind sauce that we had on the Indian samosas. The sauce is very um, warm and kind of hearty tasting. I like this sauce a lot. Okay, let's try a smaller piece. Oh yeah, that one's better. That's these. It doesn't really look like the package much. I guess it does kind of. So on a scale of one to 10, no, zero to 10, zero being the worst, 10 being the best, I'm gonna give these a, I'm gonna give them a six. They're a little bit better than average. I don't know if I would get these again. You know, like the samosas, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get those as many as I can from now on, because they're that good, but these, I'm kind of on the fence when I get these again. I mean, they're they're good, but are they good enough to buy again? I don't I don't know. Maybe if I go through all the other frozen stuff and they're not as good. But yeah, these deserve a six. Just a little better than the average. Okay, that's the end of the video. Bye, then.